Hi there, this is how you replace the top cover of your heat plate for your 5-in-1. You're going to need a screwdriver first to get all of these screws out of the four corners. Should be one, two, three, and four. I've already removed them for the video. Just to speed this up. Then you're going to need an Allen key as well to remove the four, um, four screws that are here. I've already removed most of them for the video. Now we can lift the top plate up and off from the heat element. Make sure to thread the cable through so that you've got a lot of space to work with. And then on this side, what you're going to need to do is raise the rock wall. Just lift it up. Don't worry about it. And you'll see a little screw in the middle here. You're going to need to detach this. that we can completely work with removing the cable. Now you're going to need a little, uh, what are they called? I've forgotten. What was spanner. It? Spanner. You need a little spanner. <laughs> so peel back the uh, coating the, because it's just to cover the wire and you'll see that this is the cable here and we need to detach this from here by simply loosening these. If you loosen the one that's closest to you, this will just slip right out, like so. You need to repeat that with this one, and then you can remove the plate completely. And then with your new heat press, actually I'll just show you. Pull this up, get your screw, loosen this one, this should detach like so, and then we can thread this through here. And now the heat plate can be removed, you can get your new one. I'm just going to use the same one for the video. Thread the cable back through. And just go backwards basically. Just reattach the cable on. So let's, let's get the cable out. It's a fiddly job. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Come on. Thread it back on in between these two, like so. And then re tighten up the bolt. So it holds it completely in place, like so. And replace the cover over the top. Do the same thing on the other side. Like I said, this is super fiddly. Place this into the middle. Like so. 
maybe you can see that properly. It's not actually. There we go, there we go. Really tighten up the bolt. Make sure it's nice and snug. There we go. See, we can put this cover back over. Like that. Reattach this guy. down breathe this through Press it down and just screw them back in and that's how you replace the top plate.